Hi everyone, it's Trouble Lord here from the Trouble Council and Associates, and I'm standing in front of what will hopefully be the future uh, <laughs> white team building for the builders. Now, the reason why I'm in front of it and why it even exists is because of the voting. There are there there is going to be voting today on the new council for the TCA. So, if you go in this nice, beautiful place, what you do is I'll actually open it. I have to go in because the NPC is messed up. But <clears throat> what you'll do is you'll go in. It'll have its color coded. So this is the green room, which will later just be room one for the contests. But um, you'll see a group of <clears throat> group of the people who made it to pass first round and have made it to second round with a speech and the evaluation and then we'll actually vote for them things like that, so beautiful so we have, for a green team we have Chemical Death 14 and we have Olvain and of course Future Link 8 the green team and the white team the placement for those teams have been very controversial or kind of interesting when the main council leader has actually not been first Place. And I think the same goes for, well, I think that's about it. That's the only team that's done that. Only two teams that's done that. It's very interesting. Um, so basically, when you come in this room, as a council member, you grab one green, one pink. You throw your pink into the one you don't want, and the green one into the one you want. That made no sense. Okay, what I meant was the... Okay. The color one, like this one, green, will go into the one that you want to have as green team leader. It's the council leader. So you just toss that one in. And, oh. Awkward. And the pink one, you just toss that in for the assistant. Like whoever you want the assistant to be. And, and then we will vote. That's how we're going to vote. So. And you have to use the ones from the chest or it won't count. Because it's going to be obvious. There's more than six in the end. Then it won't count. Obviously. So it's gonna be the same for each room. When you leave, it's gonna be a little bit like it's gonna look like this. So up oh, there it goes. It, sometimes it will mess up. So let's see up here it has the little colors. And you just go in the color coded room you want to go into. So this will be the white room. And the NPCs got messed up, so I have to do it all over again. But I'm not going keep recording. So anyway, that's basically what, um, that's how we're going to vote a secret ballot. Only one council member will be able to go in the room, and all that, and all beautiful stuff like that. So the council leaders are also asked to vote according to the uh, speech, uh, the first round, and of course, according to their evaluation. Uh, evaluations, you can only say good things about them. Uh, if you say something bad about them, it has to be balanced with something that's good, so... Basically, it's basically how it's gonna work. Hello, Zeke! Um, and all of that. Goodbye. Um, so, that's basically it. It's gonna be a very interesting ballot. We've never actually done one like this, but it should be fun. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Trouble Lord here from Lee Trumpet Castle and Associates. Thank you for watching. Remember to support us and do whatever makes you happy. Goodbye.